Let's take a look at finding the population standard deviation of a set of data on an HP Prime graphing calculator. First off, you need to be back at your application library. So if you're not, press your apps button. And we want to highlight the statistics one var. So I'll down arrow to that and press enter. And we want to, um, if you got data here, you want to delete it out. So I'll press my delete button over and over to clean it out. And I know it's the same numbers I'm going to retype in, but I want to show you how to clean out a list and how to input a list. Okay, and now I'm going to type in each one of these numbers, pressing enter after each one. So I do 13 enter, 19 enter, 23 enter, 31 enter, 45 enter, 46 enter, 47 enter. 51, enter, and 53, enter. And if you're in a statistics course, you should go through and verify you typed in all your numbers wrong, or all your numbers wrong, all your numbers right. Um, biggest mistake people make here is just typing in a number wrong. And then we'll push the stats button right here. Now you want to click the column, and you want to choose one, because we've got one column. So you can either click that, or you can uh, choose one. And now if I down arrow, the, uh, this weird looking symbol, the O with an extra line, uh, X, uh, that's a lowercase sigma. That's our population standard deviation. And rounded two decimal places would be 14.24. If I don't remember those symbols, uh, an HP prime, if you put, do your left, um, if you put, go to the left, uh, you'll see that it says population standard deviation. So it tells you what it is. Okay. So then you click OK, and to get out of that, you click your apps. In this video, we took a look at how to find the population standard deviation on an HP Prime graphing calculator.